Dressed up as a bee. But this is all the buzz, honey. All the buzz. Come on down, Emmy, aka B. It is so precious. And do you have a fortune cookie in your hand? Yes, for you. Oh, oh my! For me? Wow! Trying to bribe the judges. Not gonna work, babe. <laughs> Next up, we have Harley coming down the red carpet as a biker chick. Um, be careful. Harley is also going to throw things out. She's going to throw out Harley Davidson's to the crowd. So just be ready. Uh, just be ready for that. Um, tell me. Oh, you look so cute, Harley. Tell me what was the inspiration for Harley's costume. Her name is Harley. She's a Harley Davidson girl. <laughs> She's a motorcycle girl. Are you in a motorcycle gang? Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's the leader of our pack. Actually. You said yes, and she said I'm not allowed to say. So that I don't know, that says a lot. Well, you guys look great. Give it up for Harley, the biker chick. Oh. Okay. This next one is so, so cute. It looks like we've got old McDonald had a farm vibes. We've got Lumi dressed as a cow and her two farmers as parents. Oh, how cute. And there's a little chicken, which is against the rules. It's a dog parade. <laughs> Read the rules, folks. Read the rules. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm freaking out. Okay, wait, does the little bell work? Yep, of course, ring it. Let's hear it. Oh, can I get a moo from the crowd? Moo! Let's hear it from the back! Moo! <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. Woo! Um, go ahead and Okay, Alex, I am freaking out. Um, a celebrity is in our midst. Uh, we oh have God, no. the claw from Toy Story. Oh my God, stop, he's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> the claw from Toy Story. This is Coco and Poe as the claw from Toy Story. We have some Pizza Planet workers, Pizza Planet. Can we just get a one, uh, the claw from one of you guys? Like, the, Can you say it for us? The claw. Oh, beautiful. We love it. What was the inspiration for your outfit? They are the chosen ones. Oh, they are the chosen ones. Well, and then it, you can't see in the back, but we have, they're in like the little rocket ship. We have Buzz and Woody hanging from the side and two very, very cute aliens. Um, so give it up one more time for Coco and Poe as the claw from Toy Story. Wow, goodbye to my crush. Come on up, chicken and cookie as Qu the Cowardly Lion and Dorothy. We're following the yellow brick road using our imagination, even though this is a red carpet. We're going to click our heels together and... Woo! So we need an accessible yellow brick road. And thank goodness for New York, we have accessible yellow brick roads. That's right. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> for your accessible yellow brick road package that you just passed last night. <laughs> Working around the clock. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have another New York City hero. We have NYD Pup Cookie and Kathleen, both officers. Uh, I'm, the senator is here. It's pretty embarrassing to have the the police officers and the fire department not working, and they're here at the parade. But you know, we're gonna give it to them. That's okay. Um, tell me, what was the inspiration for Cookie's outfit? Uh, we just moved here from Los Angeles, so we've been over three weeks. So we had to enjoy the festivities. But he's my partner in crime. Oh, partner in crime. We love it. Well, welcome to New York. Welcome to Kathleen and Cookie. Give it up one more time for Woo! Kathleen and Cookie. Woo! And I want to know who's pulling this strings here because we've got ratatouille <laughs> slightly bigger than i would have imagined <laughs> kind of thought he was a rat <laughs> yeah yeah i can't fit in your hat but he can fit in your heart oh my goodness let's see what's inside this box a plain croissant uh almond croissant and a cardamom bun wow and he helped you make all that all of it from scratch wow you didn't even buy it from a store, I bet. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Next up, coming down the red carpet, we have Ruby carrying some stolen documents. Oh. Ruby has all of the classified information. <laughs> And she is leaking it to the press. She's leaking it to the press. Tell me a little bit about what was the inspiration for Ruby's costume. She just got in a little trouble in Florida. <laughs> she just got in a little trouble in Florida. And she's bringing that trouble here. Now we're all accomplices in this. Well, Ruby, you look great. Anything you want to say to the crowd? <laughs> nope. Lips, her lips are sealed. But you can definitely check inside the classified documents. Yes. Wow, couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much, Ruby. You look great. Thank you for being here. Give it up for Ruby. Oh, Ruby's laying here. She lives here now. Uh, she actually lives here. Um, I don't know if we have any people who are religious, but whether you're religious or not, it's a pretty big honor to meet the first female pope. <laughs> Delia, who also is a dog, whatever. <laughs> we'll take what we can get. Progress is progress. Oh my gosh, your holiness. Your hat is falling off. <laughs> She's a different kind of pope. She's a little bit more relaxed. Let's the hat fall down, you know. Oh, she's praying. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. How did we come up with this idea? Um, so this is actually a previous costume, but she is Maltese, so she's Italian, so it's in her blood. Ah, oh, wow. The people of Malta might be disappointed to hear that, but <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, Alex, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! Here we have Sally and Pluto coming down. Tell me a little bit, what was uh, your inspiration for this outfit? Um, Ghostbusters, do, do they love the movie? Yes. The original, or do they like the remake also? The one with the kids, okay, we like all of them. We're, no, we're not hating against any of the Ghostbusters here. Anything you want to say? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, you guys look so great. Give it up for Sally and Pluto and the, as the Ghostbusters. And I hope we brought our appetite, folks, because we've got a shark, cute, a reborn. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even come up with that one, guys. <laughs> we've got Maury Ballstein dressed up oh my like a cheese doodle. Oh my gosh, get a load of this. I bet you that would cost like 55 bucks. What do we say? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. How much this cost? Yeah, 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 yeah. How much it would cost to like order this at a restaurant? Uh, probably like three thousand. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it comes with a live dog, so yeah, you got to factor that into it. Oh my gosh! How long did it take you to make this? This is gorgeous. Uh, she made this. She made. This. I did it last night. Lucy. Wow, last night. She's bragging. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it wouldn't have taken me a week. <laughs> You guys look amazing. Thank you so much. And step down the ramp whenever you're ready. Oh. Oh my God. I'm standing here with you. Next up, coming down the red carpet, we have Taylor dressed as a princess. Wow. Uh, your majesty. Yeah, let's hold Taylor up so we can see her beautiful outfit. This is gorgeous. I would actually wear this dress if it came in my size. Did you make this dress? Uh, I... I ta uh, tacked it onto some Velcro. Yes. I, <laughs> that counts, honey. That counts. Tacked it onto some Velcro. It's very beautiful, very elegant, very regal. Tell me, is Taylor, does, does she have like a very princess personality? Definitely. All princess. Definitely all princess. Well, she looks great. Let's do a little twirl for the judges. See this beautiful dress. Everybody give it up for Taylor the princess. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say here. We have got Harley and Cassie and Max as a fairy garden. And wait till you see this, folks. 
And if you can find the dogs, <laughs> I'll give you my fortune cookie. Wow. All three of them? Good job. You want my cookie? This is just incredible. How long did it take you to make this? A while, lots of hours. Everything is handmade, including the dresses, the float, everything, so quite a bit. Wow, wow. And let everybody see the back of your wings, too. Beautiful. Wow. Gorgeous. And she's got elf ears on as well, so this is a real deal. Yeah, it looks great. Thank you so much. Oh, Jolie, it's corn. <laughs> A big lump of knobs. <laughs> and it has the juice? It has the juice. And then when I added butter, everything changed? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay. okay, no worries. So beautiful. Wow. <laughs> So beautiful. Well, next up we have Wooffles as its corn. Come on down, Wooffles. A big lump of knobs and it has the juice, right? Am I right? Tell me, what was the inspiration to be corn today? Uh, it's corn. It's the meme. <laughs> it's viral, honey. It's viral. Tell me, do you, um, are, are dogs allowed to eat corn? Just the kernels. Just the kernels, yep, okay. Yeah, I'll Google it, yeah, see if it's, if it's safe. So we, we love this, uh, the song, judges, are we feeling kind of festive with the corn? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You guys look great, thank you so much for being here. And give it up one more time for Wooffles! Everybody, we've got a real live bat here. Umi is dressed as a bat with Vampire Mom, and yes, she comes with her own bat noises. Let's hear it. <laughs> she did just try to eat the microphone. <laughs> so cute, thank you so much. <laughs> Next up, we have Scout as a lobster. Scout as a lobster. Wait, but you have on some ears. What are what are you dressed up as? Um, a woodland deer creature. Okay, so we're on land, we're on sea, we're, we're taking over the world. Let's hold up Scout to see the lobster costume. Cute crustacean for sure. Why, why a lobster? Why did you pick a lobster for Scout? He loves the beach, he loves lobster rolls, cold, little celery, butter bun, he's good to go. Okay, so Scout is bougie. Okay, Scout eating a lobster at home. I think, yeah, Scout eats better than me. Dang. We guys look great. Thank you so... Oh, home... Still homemade. Okay. Uh, you guys look great. Give it up for Scout the Lobster. Next up, we have Elle as Winnie the Pooh. Oh, that's right. Inside his honey pot, we also have Tigger and Rue and Eeyore and Piglet, of course. <laughs> No Christopher Robin in sight. No, we're gone wild. Yeah, they're gone rogue. Yeah. They're feral. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much. <laughs> Next up, coming down the red carpet, is Coco dressed as a butterfly. <laughs> Such a cute little butterfly, little baby. Can you hold Coco up so we can see Coco's wings? So cute. What was the inspiration for Coco being a butterfly? It was the only thing she would wear. Um, and she's very fast when she runs, so she basically flies around. Oh, very, yep. I, only thing she will wear. That's sometimes that's just what you gotta go with. But she looks very cute. We love the wings. Everybody give it up for Coco. Next up, we've got one of the OG X-Men in the house. We have Kilo dressed as Wolverine. Okay, it sounds like the back is loving you. I want a little bit more love from the front. There we go. 
put your claws up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, whoever just did that, I'm obsessed with you. Oh, thank you so much. Look at how cute you are. Yes, you are. How old is Kilo? He's four. Oh my gosh, a big boy for four. Thank you so much. I don't know about y'all. I mean, it's lunchtime. I'm feeling a little hungry. Here we have Hal dressed as the very hungry Howler Pillar. Well, we're here at Washington Square Park, but we're also under the sea. Coming down the red carpet right now is Saga as Ursula the Sea Witch, accompanied by Ariel and Flounder. Beautiful. Oh, wait, and who's this one? That's her sister. Her sister, the sea princess. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are you going to hold her up so we can all see? Everybody give it up for Ursula the Sea Witch and crew. We love the Little Mermaid. This is really something. And I loved this book growing up. Oh, my gosh. Now, tell me, did you make the costume yourself? Yep. Yep. All handmade. Wow. How long did it take? Um, about a week of work, probably. Wow. This is really impressive. Can you lift her up so that everybody can see? Lift him up. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Next up, coming down the red carpet, we have a fox. Here is Wiley dressed as Ash from Fantastic Mr. Fox. <laughs> can you hold Wiley up so we can see his costume? <laughs> Tell me, did you make this yourself? Did. Yes. Oh yes, it looks awesome. He has a little sock over his head and with his eyes poking out. Let's show the judges, show the crowd. Yes, looks so awesome. Everybody give it up for Wiley, Ash from Mr. Fox. Next up we have Ryder, who is a vampire bat, who looks like he's going to take a vampire tinkle on the roses, <laughs> if we're not careful. <laughs> yeah, it's a bloodhound. Oh <laughs> yeah, he's really scary, so you know, don't get too close. He's pretty big, <laughs> pretty menacing. <laughs> Tell me what inspired our costume today. Uh, yeah, worked with the theme indeed. Thank you so much. <laughs> Next up, coming down the red carpet, we have Shadow, dressed as a gladiator. Come on down, Shadow. Shadow is ready for battle and ready to be victorious in today's Halloween contest. We had a whole... T tell me about the, the whole setup you had, but it, you said it was too big to bring out of the out of the car. They had the bicycle and uh, the, the, the chariot carrier, but it was too big to have it on the line. I see a, I see a horse mask as well. Yeah. So it was too big, so we'll, we'll see pictures of it. But this is Shadow as Gladiator. Give it up for them. They look so great. Thank you for being here. Next up, we've got Reyna with Ace the Bat Dog. How sweet. Da -na 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 bat dog, bat dog. He's not really fighting crime. He's just sort of walking around. Bat dog, bat dog. I guess the bat signal for him would be more so just like a treat shaped like a bat, you know? What's his favorite type of crime to fight? Um, mouse in the, in the backyard. Mouse in the backyard. Absolutely. They're a menace to society. Thank you so much. Our next contestant needs no spoken introduction. That's going to be stuck in your head all day. You're welcome. Tell me, um, is... Is he a, uh, is Oliver vicious? Is that why he's a shark? Um, no. he's not vicious. He's viciously cute. Yes. Viciously cute. Well, looks great. Here's your phone. Don't want to take that from you. Um, give it up one more time for baby shark, Oliver. 
Next up, we've got Bailey, dressed up as a dog bat. A new species that we've been seeing a lot of here today. Evolution is really something. Dog bat. Don't know why we would need a dog that's also a bat, but I love what I'm seeing. Oh my gosh, we got a little tongue action, a little tongue sticking out. A blip, if you will. Oh, she's eating a treat, a little treat break. Um, can we lift her up so that everybody in the back can see her? Next up, coming down the red carpet, we have Mei Ling, dressed up as a geisha. Whoa. This is unreal. Oh That's, my gosh, she is so down, cute. Mei Ling. Can you hold Mei Ling up so we can see, um, see her outfit? Because it looks so great. With the accessory and all. Beautiful, beautiful. Tell me a little bit about her outfit. Did you make it? Yeah, I made that. Yeah. Wow, you made it. Oh my gosh, how long did it take you to make that? About a week. A week? Oh my gosh, I don't. I could have yeah. could have never made that. I love her little bow. It matches everything in her hair. Oh my gosh, it looks so great. Everybody, give it up for Mei Ling as the geisha. <laughs> Next up, we're getting a free trip under the sea without having to get wet. We've got Oscar as the squid and his entire family as sharks, a narwhal, and a cart with waves, and Popeye. Wow, wow, wow. We've got the whole package here. Every time you use a plastic straw, this is who you're hurting. Think about that. Think about that. Thank you so much. Another musical intro for our next contestant. Beautiful. Tell me, did you like corn before you tried it with butter? No, but now I do, yes. Now you do. Well, everything changed, just like the song. Well, you guys look so great. Everybody give it up for Truffle as Corn. Next up, keeping with the Halloween spirit, we've got Hocus Pocus here. Bette Midler is pocket size, turns out. <laughs> all of this folks we've got yarn wigs we've got handmade outfits and a handmade book can you hold the book up so everybody can see wow and let's turn to the left so our judges can see amazing how long did it take you to make the costume a month <laughs> seems to make in the book Oh my gosh, that sewing machine has been putting in overtime. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Next up, coming down the red carpet, we have Milo and Ella as a bee flower, a bitty bee, and an enchanted Ella Bella. Come on down, Milo and Ella. Cute little bee, a cute little flower. <laughs> okay, uh, the flower is peeing on the red carpet. Um, the, the flower did pee on the red carpet. It's our first one of the day. First one of Muscle the day. <laughs> uh, I, I don't remember a lot from science classes in like high school and stuff but I'm pretty sure that that wasn't part of the whole like oxygen oxygen process with with bees and pollen and flower but they're very cute tell me um, a little bit about your inspiration for their costume oh, uh, Milo's Ella's new adopted brother so this is his first uh, Halloween and so he just loves his sister so much so I thought that it'd be cute to dress them up together so it's first Halloween with his adopted brother everybody give it up for Milo and Ella so cute. Next up, we've got Boo Boo, aw, dressed as a puppy latte. We've got a barista, we've got a donut, it's a complete coffee shop. Yeah, we don't need to stop and smell the pee, you know. Let's get our head in the game. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, 
I'm feeling all amped up like I had a big latte myself, folks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that straw is so cute. Next up, we have Coconut Jones. We're going back to some summer loving, but this time we have both Sandys. So we have, and I quote, good Sandy and bad Sandy. <laughs> It's what they wrote. Don't come after me. It's what they wrote on the paper. Um, so we have Good Sandy and Bad Sandy. Can you hold Good Sandy up? Wow. Cheerleader. Ride out cheerleader. Oh, and here's a Grease Lightning. Let's hold it up so everybody can see. You can see the lights and everything. Go Grease Lightning. You guys look so great. Give it up for Coconut Jones and all of the Sandys and Danny. <laughs> How are you guys liking the costume so far? This side, how are we feeling? Okay, can this side, can you beat them? How are you guys feeling? Okay, there's a lot less of them and they were louder. Wow. Everybody. That is one of my favorite movies, everybody. I feel like a lot of people think that their dog looks like an Ewok, but this one really committed to the bit. Um, I just got the announcement that we're coming to our, our last few costumes, so if you wanted to be in the costume contest, this is last call to join the line for the costume contest. Last call for the costume contest. But first, coming down the red carpet, we have a spider! Spider on a skateboard. A spider on a skateboard. Doing some tricks. Doing some skateboarding tricks. Tell me a little bit. Why did you decide to dress him as a spider? I just decided. <laughs> you just decided. And this is the. Uh, I'm looking at your sticker on your mask. This is the the New York Yankee skateboarding dog, right? Sister, this is the sister of the New York uh, skateboarding dog. This is uh, Dottie, right? This is Dottie. Dottie on the skateboard as a spider. We love to see it. I'm in your way. I'm in your way. I'm ready to give it up for Dottie. Everybody, I want more claps. I need more energy. I need more energy. Let's go. Let's go. And I hope you brought an appetite because we've got Bodie dressed up as the Dumpling King. Woo! Judges, lift them up. Everybody get a look. Handmade dumplings. Are you kidding me? How many dumplings are there? And 35. Including the dog, 36. <laughs> Thank you so much. Next up, we have Bruce Bear Brudder as not just Michael Myers, but Michael Myers in black tie affair, honey. Michael I'm Myers scared. going to the Met Gala, honey. <laughs> black tie affair. Look at this. Dangerous, but cute. Fierce and slaying, literally. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. footage of Michael Myers chasing Jamie Lee Curtis in all of the movies. In all of the movies. <laughs> Honey, you can put on a top hat. If you got a knife, I'm still scared. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. Give it up for Black Tie Michael Myers. Next up, we've got Hocus Pocus. Bette Midler can't get enough of me. 
it seems. <laughs> like literally you're obsessed. Oh, careful now. We don't have to have a bubbling over of a cauldron. Oh. <laughs> that one's just for me, I guess. <laughs> and you know what? That's fine. I'm stuffing this down. Oh my gosh. And look at those wigs. Let me guess. Handmade? Handmade, everything. Oh, the dresses, so everything. Big, wow. How long did it take? <laughs> I started um, beginning of summer. Trying to, I just started sewing, so this is my first project. Wow, not bad for a first project. Thank you so much. It looks amazing. <laughs> front row who keeps that energy going thank you my front row warriors in the glasses i see you okay next we have coda the dog nyc as the itinerant sled team Hi. <laughs> we can try we got a whole a whole sled team here this is actually a person sitting here um underneath all this tell me a little bit what was the inspiration for this costume so because there's two costumes you can have if you have a husky you're either a little red riding hood or a musher so there you go she said i'm not basic no red riding hood we are a musher today and i made this actually following inuit ways of weaving you have something you wanted to say to everybody you jumped up for the microphone coda uh, a little shy, but that's okay. You guys look great. Thank you so much for being here. One more time for Coda and the Sled Team. Number 115 for the judges. Yeah. All right, we have the new HBO Max hit, House of the Dragons. Let's hear it. We have Targaryen and her dragon. So let's come on up. Let's do a little uh, a little circle so the audience can see you and then the judges can see you. We've got a whole a whole setup here. We want to make sure everybody can see Targaryen and her dragon. Everybody, don't rush the stage. I have not seen Game of Thrones nor House of Dragons. Please do not boo me. Don't boo me. <laughs> Uh, but we're gonna come over here so the so the judges can see you. But it looks awesome. And tell me, do we do we like the Game of Thrones or House of Dragons better? You guys tell me. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is better. Audience, what do you think? Both. Both. I heard one child say House of Dragons. Anybody else have an opinion? <laughs> well, you guys look great. Tell me um, a little bit. You So you made all this. Tell me a little bit about your outfit. Yes. Um, so after watching the season finale of House of Dragons and um, with him running around with his toys, it just all made sense. So we started with the... Um, the Iron Throne, and then we piecemeal the rest together. So a lot of a lot of paint, glue, and sewing, but it all came together. A lot of crafting, but it looks great. Everybody, give it up one more time for Targaryen and her dragon. Next up, we have Koji as a candidate for democracy. And if you could step to the left and show off our judges. Senator, do you have to be disciplined like that and sit down <laughs> if you want democracy to work? Absolutely, absolutely. I love those I voted pins. Are those real or did you make them? No, they're they're not real, but they will be like in a few days. Like You're going to vote that many times? Oh. Yeah, he's got a few votes, don't, but don't tell anybody. Uh -oh, uh oh, oh my gosh. Oh, he's a politician. Yay. Wow. Wow, leave it to the senator, huh? He's got the brains. He's got the brains. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Everybody
everybody, this was the reminder to get registered to vote. Everybody get registered to vote. Yes. Next up, coming down the red carpet, we have Eddie Munson from the Stranger Things. Oh, wow. Here he comes. Eddie Munson. Uh, on the side, there is a missing person poster on the side for Eddie Munson as well for this costume. Yes, tell me a little bit about uh, your inspiration for uh, Eddie Munson. Uh, sorry for the spoilers. Eddie Munson was a new character on Stranger Things season four, Gone Too Soon. Spoiler alert. Sorry, everybody, if you haven't watched it. But you guys look great. Too late. You should have watched it. You guys look great. One more time for Eddie Munson. Next up, we have a childhood favorite, Randy, dressed up as E.T. on the bike and everything. E.T. from home. Wow. This was my favorite movie as a kid. Oh, my gosh. And we got training wheels on the bike. Alex, do you say Reese PC or Reese's Pieces? Reese's Pieces. Oh, okay. Weird. Yeah, same, <laughs> same. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Oh, yeah, let's turn to the left so we can show the judges. This is so cute. There's an E.T. doll and an actual dog. So cute. Dog has such a smushy, squishy little face. As I'm does E.T. Yeah. <laughs> it's a striking, uncanny similarity. You can go ahead and head to the right. Thank you so much. Well, if you are a part of the New York City dog community, chances are you have enjoyed this doggy treat. Coming down, we have Louie dressed up as the pupper cup. So this is ice cream for dogs, and the Pupper Cup does a lot of pop-up events throughout New York City. You can get some of their ice cream treats um, at different locations, but there's also a pop-up truck that you can get doggy ice cream. So we love the Pupper Cup. Tell me, uh, what flavors are Louis, is Louis dressed up as? Bacon. Bacon, yes. But you guys look great. Everybody give it up for Louis as the Pupper Cup. Next up, we have Baby, Patches, and Frankie dressed up as Michael Myers, Chucky, and Killer Clown. Let's go to the left to show the judges. Oh, man. Oh. This is very scary. What made you do this? The Halloween movie. The Halloween movie that came out? Yeah, yeah. I like that the knife is hanging out just so I can see it. Just to keep me scared. Keep me on my toes. Thanks for that. I'm not giving you my address. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Bye. Next up, coming down the runway, we have Peaches, Coco, and Zabar, three chihuahuas as the three amigos. Are we able to hold any of them up so we can see their outfits? Peaches, Coco, and Zabar. Oh, a handful of, whoa, look at that trick. Peaches, Coco, and Zabar as the Three amigos. I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very impressed that you can hold all of them together. <laughs> Give the twin here. Peaches and Coco are twins. They're rescues. I got them at seven months. They're thirteen and a half. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. For rescue. Little Zay Bark was in a. a uh, trailer for four years in a cage with 40 dogs, and he's 14 and a half. Aww. And he is here looking cute and being stylish, living his best life. Give it up for the three amigos. <laughs> so, so sweet. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Layla dressed up as Jesse from Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> and she really is a toy come to life because she is a toy poodle, I think. <laughs> yeah, she's a toy poodle. Let's turn to the left and show the judges. 
Mom's even dressed up to match. Can't get enough of this stuff. Well, you've got a friend in me. <laughs> so bad. Thank you so much. You can exit to the right. Uh-oh, we got a tough guy coming down. Here is Diesel, dressed up as Rambo. Diesel is ready to take out the competition. He is waving that gun around with reckless abandon. Literally waving the gun around. Um, oh. <laughs> Look, he's ready to fight everybody um, at the front of the stage. Diesel, go go to the judges. Oh, D Diesel's going out into the, the, the bushes to hide. He's ready to fight. Look at those, those guns. Literally holding a gun, but his muscles, he is j jacked. He is very, very strong, doing some tricks. Thank you so much. Everybody give it up for Diesel, a.k.a. Rambo. We have a really creative costume. Luna is dressed as Sonic's gold ring. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's turn left so the judges can see. <laughs> and then let's lift her up so everyone else can see. That is just amazing and your costumes are so cool did you make them all by hand yes, yes we did. Um, her gold ring was a process but she loves it now and she says she can do some tricks in it but you know it's her first time on stage so oh you know it's okay we all have to overcome stage fright in our own way but you look gorgeous darling yeah of course this is everybody's final call to join the competition. We are down to our last five or six costumes. So if you want to join the competition, this is last call. Speak now or forever hold your peace, honey. You will not be voted for. Next up, coming down the red carpet, we have Malibu dressed up as a bumblebee. Come on down, Malibu. Malibu the bumblebee. Tell me, what was the inspiration for Malibu to be a bumblebee? Um, she basically is the only one she, she won. It's the only one that, that kind of worked out. But yeah. I, I like this one, though. It's got a lot of different textures. Would you mind holding? Could you hold Malibu up so we can see? Buzz, buzz, honey. Buzz, buzz. Now show the judges to our left. Everybody give it up for Malibu the Bumblebee. Thank you so much for being here. Next up, we have Lily dressed as Dumbo. Look at those freaking ears. Are you kidding me? So cute. Mom's got the collar hand crocheted by an artist by the name of who? Rivers McCall. Wow, really amazing. Uh, let's turn to the left so the judges can get a good look. Oh my goodness, those ears are killing me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to run away and join the circus now, guys. If he's the ringmaster. Thank you so much. You can exit to the left here. Next up, coming down the red carpet, we have Shakira. Ooh, Shakira, Shakira, dressed as Wonder Woman. Shakira dressed as Wonder Woman. <laughs> Shakira is the name of the dog. <laughs> Shakira is the name of the dog. But her hips don't lie either way. Nope, they don't. She is strutting, honey. She is strutting down the red carpet. Let's go see the judges. Are you able to hold Shakira up so um, the audience can see the costume? Can we hold Shakira up? She's, she's a little busy right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. So when Shakira's not busy dancing, she's fighting crime? Yes. Okay, yes. Well, she looks adorable. Everybody give it up for Shakira dressed as Wonder Woman. <laughs> that is a nuggety little dog. <laughs> oh, baby. Next up, we have my favorite movie in real life. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. We have Pixar's Up 
coming to the stage. Oh my gosh. First 10 minutes of that movie, Kleenex cleared out. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. Rosalie is so cute. How old is Rosalie? She's six. She's six. Okay, let's turn to our judges to the left here. Look at the material. Look at the handmade little diorama. Look at the inflatable Kevin. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. Let's go explore. Thank you so much. Don't fly away. Go ahead and exit to the right here. <laughs> Next up, coming down the red carpet, we have Moo Moo dressed up as a butterfly. Moo Moo, come on down. Oh, Moo Moo's like a fancy butterfly with some bling, some sequins. Did you make this costume? No, my mom bought it. <laughs> Love it, love it. Well, what was the inspiration to make Moo Moo a butterfly? Um, she's usually a social butterfly around the park, so... She's a social butterfly, so you're like, well, might as well make her a butterfly. Yes, I love it. Look, she's, she's social right now. Moo Moo, anything you want to say to the crowd? <laughs> I just keep doing this hoping that one of them will bark. I, like, I, I'm holding on hope. I'm holding on hope. Well, you look so cute, Moo Moo. Uh, show the judges one last time. Everybody give it up for Moo Moo the Butterfly. We're in the midst of royalty. Another member of the House of Dragons. We have the Targaryens themselves. Please don't roast me, dragon, okay? <laughs> Chill out, buddy. <laughs> Thank you so much. And tell us a little bit about your costume. Let's show the judges. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, you don't sound like a Targaryen. <laughs> Gonna need a little bit more confidence than that. <laughs> this is uh, my baby, Silky. He's a dragon, a mother of dragons. Come on, perform, baby. Do something. <laughs> Let's make mom proud. Come on, do fire. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I guess that wasn't in the CGI budget. <laughs> we just got to jump up instead. Thank you so much. You can exit to the right here. She says that she doesn't work for free. She doesn't work for free. Finally, someone's saying it. <laughs> Next up, we have Chibi coming down as a spider. Let's look at the spider. And we have some spider webs. Can you hold up, Chibi, so everybody can see the spider? Ooh, <laughs> the legs sticking in your face. You're a cute spider. Can you turn and show the judges? Cute. What was the inspiration for the spider and the, the whole outfit? I love like your your cobwebs as well. Um, my boyfriend is Spider Man, but he's not here right now, so he's he's fighting crime. He's fighting crime. Don't don't get mad. And she's the spider that bit him, and I'm the web. Oh, oh my god. I would love to have a movie franchise made about me. Um, so go ahead, <laughs> take a bite. Yeah, if, if you're offering, I mean, no. Okay, all right, all right. No, that's fine. It's cool. <laughs> Give it more to me as the spider. And folks, Joe Lee, everyone, the people behind me, the people in front of me, that was our last dog. Whoa! of the day. Wow, last but certainly not least, nope. now our judges have the pretty much impossible job of deciding what the best costumes were. So while they deliberate, we are just going to thank some of our sponsors here. Yes, this event would not be possible without your support, but without the support of our awesome sponsors as well. Yes. Yeah, we've got Bond Vet. Bond Vet is building a new breed of veterinary clinic, providing best-in-class primary and urgent care for your furry friends in a welcoming modern environment. They currently have 13 locations throughout New York City with several opening in the area this year, including their NoHo location just a few blocks away from here on 4th Street. Awesome. Thank you so much to Bond Vet. Uh, next up, we have Madison Realty Capital. So Madison Realty Capital is a New York City-based real estate private equity firm focused on debt and equity investment strategies, and it's a park neighbor here here to Washington Square Park. So thank you so much, Madison Realty Capital. And I get the amazing job of reading about another animal hospital, uh, West Village Vets and Tribeca Soho Animal Hospital. 
part of the downtown veterinary group, both offices provide caring, consistent, yeah, provide care consistently throughout the clinical services for your pet here in Washington Square Park. We are between these two great locations, so you're never too far from good care. And we all know taking care of our pets is our number one priority, folks. Definitely our number one priority. Second priority, making sure they look cute in Halloween costumes. Yeah, that's a close second. It's kind of hard to decide between the two, right? It's yeah, that's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. So. Yeah, they don't have insurance for pet costumes, though. They should. They should. That's a good idea. Shark Tank? Yeah, investors? Investors. I heard the word equity. <laughs> Hi, sharks. My name's Jolie. <laughs> and I'm Alex. And we are here to pitch costume insurance for pets. That's right. <laughs> and it makes sense, so don't question me, sharks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Wow, so we crushed that. We did. <laughs> that um, they hated it. It's okay. They hated it. Uh, so we're going to give the judges a few moments to deliberate, but everybody stay put because we are going to announce the winners today. So we want to stay put. And we want to celebrate tight. our winners. We want to celebrate our winners, get some good photos. So if you were part of the competition, stick around. If you're a viewer of the competition, stick around. We will be right back with the judges' decisions. It's true. But now we're going to head it over to the House of Jack. Jacks, our wonderful DJ today for some tunes while we wait. Everybody give it up for our House of Jack! Yes, honorable mention number uh, 55, three-headed dog. So it might take you a moment to get on up to the stage. So just uh, make your way up to the stage. We'll get some good photos. If you see a three-headed dog, make way. It does bite. All three heads. Next up for our honorable mention, we have number 10, Elizabeth II. Number 10. The Queen Elizabeth Hearse. The Hearse. The Queen Elizabeth's Hearse. That was one of my favorites. Number as 10, well. yes. So those are our two honorable mentions. Hopefully they're able to come on up and make their way to the stage so we can celebrate them. But now we're going to go to our top three winners. That's right, folks. The moment that you have all been waiting for. Especially me! Especially you. <laughs> Number 233, Pinocchio in third place. Third place. And if you're standing by the stage, room for our winners to come on up. Thank you so much. I see Geppetto. <laughs> oh, I see Queen Elizabeth II's hers. Come and stand next to me. Come on up. Stand next to me. Oh. Um, let's see. Oh, here he is making his way up to the front. Um, if you're still on the lookout for the three-headed dog, we're still on the lookout for the three-headed dog. But we have Pinocchio. Watch out up right here up in the front. Watch out. Make some room. While Pinocchio comes up. This is third place. Wow, Stay everybody. up for Pinocchio. Oh, here we go. Here. There's Pinocchio. Still not lying. He's still, still not no lying. Lies. Not. <laughs> uh, in second place, we have number 183, Cat's Deli Sandwich. Number 183, Cat's Deli Sandwich got second place. So I'm looking to see if I see anybody moving towards the stage. If you are a dog dressed as a sandwich, please come to the stage. <laughs> and now, Jolie, I mean, should we say it at the same time? We can try. We <laughs> uh, okay, in first place, we've got number 128, Grease. And I know that applause is for us being able to say that at the same time. Thank you. Number Thank you so 128, much. Greece. Number 128. So, in recap. Honorable mentions, we had number 55, three-headed dog. Number 10, Queen Elizabeth's hearse. Third place, we have Pinocchio. Second place, Cat's Deli. And first place, Greece. One more time for everybody. Thank you.
thank you so much to all of our contestants. You all did so wonderfully. It was such a great experience to see all of your gorgeous little costumes and amazing little dogs, even if they peed. Yes. Oh, you had one accident. That's not that bad. Yeah. Um, oh, here comes Grace. Here oh, it comes Grace. Grace. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it going for Sandy and Danny. Amazing. Still dancing. Still dancing. <laughs> well, thank you so much for everybody coming today. Thank you to the Washington Square Park Conservati Conservatory. Thank you to Washington Square Park Dog Run. Thank you to our judges. Everybody give it up for our judges for making this tough decision today. Thank you so much to our DJ, House of Jacks. Everybody give it up for our DJ. Our amazing sponsors, our halftime performance, yes. and I just want to give it up for my amazing co-host Jolie. Let's hear it for Jolie. Silence. <laughs> the silence. And then give it up for my amazing co-host Alex. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. And oh, thank you so much. One more, oh, woo! Awesome job everybody, yes, thank you so much. Yeah, winners, winners just keep, keep coming, coming up. to the stage uh, so we can get a big group photo. But thank you all so much for being here. Have a happy Halloween, and we'll see you all next.